I'm sure some of you guys have seen these art boxes that people are making and selling on social media. They seem to be quite popular lately. And actually, they are quite a lot of fun to make. I made one last year as a gift for someone, and I just got the idea. I should show how to make one as a YouTube video. So I've actually had these art supplies for quite some time now. I was planning on doing more of these, but I sort of just didn't get around to it. Yeah, but that's okay, I'm doing it now, so. I got the lights at Walmart for about 15 bucks. What's nice about these, these flex glow lights is they have like a little remote that they come with. You can control the color, you can control the mode, you can do like fade, you can do flash. It's pretty great, so yeah, these work pretty well. And I got the frames at Michael's for about 25 bucks each. I got a white one and a black one. Wasn't sure which color would look good as a light box, so yeah, I got both. I don't, I don't think I'm doing two for this video. That'd be a bit of a challenge, but maybe I'll do another one in the future. So now what I'm using to space the layers of the images between each other is some foam core board. The idea being is I'm just gonna cut some skinny little, you know, pole shaped pieces and just space them on the edges of each layer and that's going to create that space that gives it that uh, 3D look. I checked the box and I have about enough room for eight layers of imaging which is tough because I, my, the last one I did was four layers so I'm doing literally double what my last one was. I'll give it a shot see what I could do. Um, other than that we're going to try it see how it turns out. So, the first thing to do is go to the sketchbook and start sketching out some ideas of a background I want to do. Start thinking about uh, what sort of theme I want to go with for my image. So I'm going to head over to my sketchbook, my big one, and start drawing out some ideas of what I want it to look like. Let's do that now. So, for my first design, I decided to go with a beach theme. That means, you know, palm trees, sand, waves. I thought it would look cool with the colors in the back because what I could do is put a moon at the back so when the box is blue it would look like a nice full moon night on a beach and when the box is red it would sort of look like a nice sunrise or sunset. Okay so this is concept number one. I was thinking maybe it would be nice to do like an easy beach theme. Could look cool with all those colors coming through the back. It'd be interesting to like put this sort of at the forefront and have the waves go back in layers to the back layer being over here. Maybe put the boat on one of the layers somewhere in the middle, that'd be kind of cool. Let's try another one now. I'm gonna, I'm, I have another idea for something else I could do. So this next design was sort of a mountain theme. I was thinking I could take advantage of using things like trees, rocks, hills, mountains to sort of build that 3D with those layers, like put some trees in the front, put some trees in the back, and that would help give it that depth that I'm looking for in this image. Okay, that's concept number two done. I was thinking of doing something like in the mountains, and I came up with a really cool idea that maybe it'd be interesting if I could somehow cut all the layers in one straight line down here to sort of give the glow effect like a river flowing through. Although, I'm trying to figure out how that'd be possible. Have to figure out how to make that work. It could be, it could be interesting though. So, who knows? Maybe we can give it a try. Okay, so I got two designs here. I'm liking both of them. I'm thinking this one's a little too challenging. Like, I, I feel like I need to do a couple more of these to sort of get an idea of how that will be done. So I think I'm gonna go with the beach one and if this one goes well, I think I'm gonna do this for my second frame, as my second image. So yeah, this is gonna be the one we work on. So let's uh, go ahead and start cutting some layers.
right, we're all finished. So now we have all eight layers finished and cut. Got my background, my foreground. It's all done, so now's the fun part. Now's the time to assemble it in the frame. Now, last time I did this, I what I did before is I would cut pieces of foam core and sort of glue them to the edges and then stack them in the box. But I thought of a way easier way to do it. So what I did instead is actually just cut the foam core as little frames that'll fit in the box just perfectly. And without any glue, they're naturally just gonna space each other apart. I won't even have to glue them in. It's gonna be way easier this time. So let's go ahead and grab the frame and let's start popping them in. A finished frame. Here's how it looks. It's not bad, although it's gonna, it's gonna look much better with the lights on. So now it's time to turn off the lights and take a look at it in the dark. Let's see how it looks. Well, I guess that about wraps things up. I, I enjoyed making this frame, it was fun. Uh, if any of you are interested in purchasing this, you can DM me on my Instagram, I'll be selling it. So, I think that about wraps things up. Uh, this took quite a while, it's about one in the morning. Wasn't intending on working this late, but yeah, it's, it's done, so I should probably call it a night now. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, keep on drawing. Peace.